Hello, my name's Mark Vernon, and I'm looking forward to talking about the evolution of consciousness. I don't mean evolution in the Darwinian sense, the way that our brains and so on developed in order to give us consciousness and self-consciousness, um, but rather an, a cultural kind of evolution, um, whereby our experience of being human changed very significantly over about the last 3,000 years. Um, I think that when you read Homer, when you look at ancient Egypt, when you look at the oldest bits of the Hebrew Bible, there's a sense of being human that's very different from our own. And it began to change roughly around 500 BC, it's sometimes known as the Axial Age, um, and produces the sense of what it is to be alive, seeking meaning, purpose, connection, um, both within ourselves and others in the world around us, the cosmos and even the gods. Um, that still our challenge and our opportunity. Um, so hence, thinking about Socrates, who comes at the beginning of this time of change, um, but also thinking about people since, and even figures like Freud, who in a very different way were trying to grapple with it once more. Um, so what I hope to share with you um, is a felt sense of this uh, shift of consciousness, this development of our sense of ourselves, um, and then unpack what it might mean back then, because it's of interest for its own sake, um, but also particularly now, and um, because I think it goes right to the heart of the, mo the modern predicament and the challenges that face us both personally, um, but also as a civilization.